What's up, YouTube? Mr. Schmelly here again with another video. Today we'll be taking a look at Saitama from One Punch Man by McFarland Toys. Taking a look at the box, One Punch Man, Saitama, Wolf Plus, Saitama, picture of him there, picture of him there, One Punch Man, again Saitama, and we're labeling, you know, and of course, One Punch Man. Accessories wise, comes with his serious face. You can actually see that there's a very noticeable line across his head. I'll actually take a closer look at that later. But, serious face, then extra hands. Fist hand, and then an open hand. So, taking a close look at the figure, got the derpy face on there. <laughs> you can see there's that line I'm talking about. It's on both heads. Don't like that. The yellow, of course. It's like a PJs, I forgot what he wears if it's PJs. Red glove, of course. I mean, it's just a yellow figure, except, you know, paint's off right here. It's different from the rest of the body. Comes with the stand. The red boots. It's a decent looking figure. As for articulation, it's a little odd. The head doesn't go up at all. I actually want to use a neck. It's strange, I don't like that. But if you don't move the neck and move the, only the head, it'll look somewhat down. But they want you to use the entire neck, I guess. I don't like that. That's working right there actually, but then head the neck still actually needs to be moved to get the full looking down. The head barely moves side to side, but they want you to use that neck. It rotates out of the way. The shoulders. Well the arm goes all the way up. Do rotate oh, arm fell off. It does rotate all the way if the arm doesn't fall off. There we go. As you saw, there is a bicep swivel, unless it falls off. This looks like a butterfly joint, but it doesn't move at all. That right there, it doesn't move at all. I don't know why it's there or what. Elbows are double jointed. The wrist, it's like on a ball, so you could spin around. Hinges, that's it. Uh, diaphragm, disappointing. I mean, it twists all the way around, goes up. Not much because of the waist or something, but it causes a gap. It goes forward, causes a gap. Like I said, it's pretty ugly. I guess the cape's there to block that, right? But there's a waist. You can use that also to go back some. Forward. Some. I don't like how he looks like he's wearing a diaper. Legs, I guess go out that much. Forward, oh, <laughs> that much. Back, nothing at all because butt's blocking them. Knees, got the double hinge there. Ankles, of course, you can twist them around. 
Go up that much. Back that much. Does have toe articulation. And that's pretty much it. Again, some of the faults I have about this thing is again going back to this, you can see it. Both heads have that weird line. It looks like there's two pieces and they just connect together or something. His throat has like some kind of thyroid issue. Or he's just trying to choking on something, but it's really bulgy right there. And again, I said it looks like he's wearing a diaper. But kind of on sale, of course. And I guess the stand helps him stand because he won't stand on his own, I think. Yeah, the cape's too heavy, so I just throw on that stand. I'm not gonna really mess with it, just there for to look at. That's pretty much it. Disappointment. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification. And until next time.